Howdy fixers, so today we're going after the fuel pump on this Ford Explorer Eddie Bauer edition. So it's 2000 up to like 2005. Um, first things first is we got this right here. This is a 12.12. We've got to take this drive line out of the way in order to get access to all our bolts up here. Uh, once you get the bolts up there, you also have our bolts here for this shield. So we got to take our protection shield off here off the bottom. And after I figure out my drive line and these bolts out, I'll show you what else to do. So I'll show you what to do up here. So if you like what I'm doing for you and you like my videos, just give me a like, give me a subscribe, tell a friend about it, and uh, just leave a comment if you have any questions at all. And it doesn't even have to be related to this video, just leave a comment. Thanks. So you want to leave a couple bolts left in the rear end there, and you want to go after these bolts here, loose knees. On other models, uh, Ford Rangers and stuff like that, you don't have to do this. It just has a spline that goes in, but with these you have to take bolts out. So once you get your bolts out of your drive line, you might have to tap it a little bit, like so. And you can see how it's kind of loosening up there a little bit, making it loose, because it's usually rusted on there pretty good. So once you get it loose, you should be able to get a screwdriver, see that gap that's opening up in between there and it'll pop right out. So I got my drive line out and this is the part that goes towards the front. I always put an arrow just so I don't get mixed up because you can put the front on the back and back on the front and it just doesn't work out well for you in the end so that's what I do. So your bracket for your cover here on your gas tank, you have four bolts, one here and then you have one right here, took that one out already. And then you have these two. So this is pretty heavy. You're gonna want to probably get some extra help from somebody to get it out. So uh, yeah, so just after I get this out, I'll show you what else next to do. All right guys, your next step is you gotta take your hoses off and they're both quarter drive uh, hose clamps here. So I'm gonna take my hose I have to my, my fuel truck here. I'm sucking it out through here. You gotta push really hard to get this hose in here. You might even be able to get a hose through this one here. I haven't tried that yet, but if you can't suck out all the fuel through the big hole, you try a small hole. Uh, so this is what I have for a little fuel truck. It just line goes up like this. And a full whole power system is a Delphi pump. It goes into a tank. I'm gonna cap this off for all vapors and stuff like that. So it's pr pretty handy. You know, a guy can make something like this pretty easy. I'm pretty sure I got all this stuff off of Amazon. All right, guys. So after you get your fuel pump drained, you're gonna go ahead and take off these nuts. And I should say your tank drain, not your fuel pump. And then you're gonna take this bolt off. Um, you want to have this supported. I haven't got my jack underneath here yet, but you can put um, in a jack stand. Not jack stand, but a jack. If you're gonna do it on the ground, just take your clamp things loose and slowly let it down so you can have better access to your fuel lines and your electrical connectors up here. And you wanna watch out for any hoses that can break off too that are usually towards the back of the fuel tank. So on this bracket here, you got these two bolts here, I got those off, and it still won't come down. So if you look up, you see those studs right there, that shiny spot? There's two bolts on top that you have to take off, and it should allow those studs to come down and be able to get our uh, fuel tank to come down. So, those are out. This moves nice and freely, so we're going ahead and we're just gonna let it down a little bit. Here we go. So now that it's dropped down, you got access to your fuel filler neck and then your fuel pump here, that's where it's at. Okay guys, so your connector here, you got a line, this line here. You squeeze these two together, it pops off the screen hose here. Then you have this connector here, you press in the back, it pops out. Then you have this connector here on your line, and you take a screwdriver in between this flat spot, and pry that up, it comes out of the way. Next step is you want to take some WD-40 or something equivalent and spray it in here to loosen up any dirt or anything like that that's been stuck. And then we're going to take our connector off here off the frame rail, and you can see it right there. So then we have to use a uh, quick disconnect post tool in order to get this line off. Alright guys, so you want to take this blue quick disconnect tool and bury it up to the hilt here. And then you should be able to twist your steel line and it should come loose. Alright guys, so this is the new fuel pump and I got the old one out. So you're going to have to take these all these eights off and we're going to get that out of the way. We want to first, you want to take an air hose or something like that.
So as you can see, I got it out. And so this is your gasket that you have for it. There's a new gasket on the bottom of your new pump. And the main thing you want to make sure is that you have the direction of your outlet, or yeah, your outlet hose for your fuel pump in the right direction. So I just made a mark. That's where that's at. It's right there. And then we're going to go ahead and put our new pump back in and just be careful of our sending unit and put it back in and then we're going to go back in. So as you can see, I got the fuel pump back in and getting ready to put that back in. But what I want to do before I do anything is I want to change this fuel filter. So you can kind of make out on this says Motocraft. Usually Motocraft stuff is only going to be on there from factory or if you got a service set like a dealership that's whole life or whatever, which I don't think this is the case. Um, so you just got to take this clip off here and a clip off there. So the main thing with this is that your fuel pump goes bad for a reason. Either you run it low too long on low gas and it causes the pump to overheat or your fuel filter is plugged. So if this is an original fuel filter from the factory, there's a lot of extra pressure that your fuel pump has to press against and it causes it to go out sooner than it should have. So if you change this, it's going to make it a lot better. So it's just like putting new socks and new boots. You don't want to take your gross socks you've had on for three weeks and put them in your brand new boots because it defeats the purpose. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Alright, so we got our hose here. And you want to take your line, you want to push it on until you hear it go click. And then you want to try to pull it off. If you can't pull it off, then it's seated all the way. Um, that's the biggest thing you want to make sure you do. And the same goes for your plastic line. This guy here that we took off earlier. You want to make sure that clicks on all the way and doesn't pull off. Okay, so we got the tank back up in there. So what next step you want to do is you want to take some WD-40 and spray it a little bit just inside your hoses so they go on easier. That's in the middle of doing everything cool, you know. So, thanks for watching Fixers, really appreciate it. Um, so that's how you do the fuel tank on your Ford Explorer. Um, it's a little different from the Ford Ranger. Ford Ranger's a little bit different because the fuel pump placement and stuff. But if you like my video, just give me a like, give me a subscribe. Uh, first time seeing my channel, give me a subscribe. I got plenty of stuff coming out like this. I'm trying to make them a little bit more detailed. Um, if you have watched some of my videos in the past and you feel like something some videos are better than others let me know let me know what you like about my videos and what's the best you know what what communicates your information better to you if it's short simple and quick or is it have more information it's better for you um but yeah so just thanks for watching um appreciate it hopefully i was able to save you guys a couple bucks and main thing is just be help you be your own mechanic so thanks for watching and have a good one